Right. Talking about books, I want to hold up the book that uh, you've written here. This is called The Making of a Spiritual Movement. I have to admit it's caused quite a controversy. Yes. It's, it's been all over the world, and uh, in particular, I've been, my house was robbed. Why the controversy? What do you do in this book that, that everybody's so upset about and they robbed your house? I'll tell you quite frankly. Okay. The founder of this particular movement, what he tried to do was lie about his past. Are you talking about a particular cult now? Right. Particular you want to, well, you've already written it. You might as well say who it is. Okay, the group about... is called Ekinkar, and it, it was founded in San Diego, and it's well known throughout the United States and throughout the world. The founder was Paul Twitchell, and what he tried to do was start a new religious group in 65, 1965. And what he tried to do was hide his past. And every book, almost every book this person wrote was plagiarized from ancient, uh, not ancient texts, texts that were written in France in 1938 and 39. I happen to have the books in my library. You take the book out, the new 67 edition of Paul Twitchell's Far Country, and you take out a book, Path of the Masters by Julian Johnson in 1939, not a line has been changed. Ch copied it? Exactly. Word for word. And the people in the group don't know this. And therefore, my only job was to give them that other side and so the only reason I, in a sense, I'm considered a, uh, an expert on exposing cults, it's not that I expose them, mm -hmm. but that I'm interested in giving the other side. When people plagiarize, when they lie about their lives, and this whole thing about sex that's going on, it's very heavy. A lot of gurus have sex with the disciples and all this kind of stuff. My job, only my job, is to give them the other side. So how do you feel about this? They're, they're, they're uh, burglarizing your house and they're doing things. They, they obviously wanted some of your notes or records that's, or It's incredible. It was midday. I was teaching at the university. And I come back, and the whole place is totally ransacked. I mean, bookshelves thrown over, beds up, ton, everything's gone. And the only thing they took were my research files. Every article I'd written, all my only research stuff. Only thing you took? All, well, I mean, <laughs> what I mean is they didn't take a TV, they didn't take a radio. Oh, I mean, they didn't I take see. anything of material value. They just took all my research. And they left this very incriminating note, said, no more. And uh, obviously the message was, they don't want me to write on these particular groups. What are you going to do? Still write. Good for you. Just keep on going. Oh, well, I'm real pleased with you, David, and I'm glad you came to the show. It's wonderful to have people like you. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you for being with us today. Tomorrow, our guests are Desi Arnaz, Jr. and Guy Finley. And our